Today I'm going to learn how to use Mesh Boolean in Geometry Nodes to create holes and how to reveal objects. Let's hit the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes, close this, and let's create a new profile, and let's add two objects, because always we need at least two objects. I'm going to delete this cube and add another cube with this node, because I have more control, and also I want to use a cylinder. And I'm going to add Transform, because I want to move both objects. So let's duplicate this with Shift D and let's connect it here. So now if we connect this, we can see the cube here and here if we connect the cylinder, we can see the cylinder. I'm going to change the rotation of the cylinder and I'm going to make it smaller, something like this, and I want longer. So in this axis. Something like that. Okay, so we have the cube and the cylinder. And what I want is to use this cylinder to make a hole in the cube. So to do that, we need mesh boolean. And we add it here. So basically, this node has three options. Difference, union, intersect. We are going to start with difference. When we use difference, we have mesh one, mesh two. When we use other options, we only have mesh. So whatever you connect in the mesh one will be the object always visible. So in this case, we have the cube connected here. And the object that you connected in the mesh one, you can connect one object or more, will be the object to make the hole. So now, if we connect the cylinder below in mesh two, now we are using the cylinder to make the hole in the cube. If you want to see the cylinder, or at least the shape, what we can do is a little trick, is to add joint geometry. And we can bring this here. But let's convert it to curve, so we don't see the mesh. So let's add mesh to curve. So now we only see the lines of the object. So remember, when one object is connected to mesh one, is the object visible, in this case is the cube, and the object that you connected in mesh two is being used to make a hole when they are together. What I mean, when they share the same space, so inside the hole. Now we can change, for example, the scale of this object to do different holes. We can make it bigger, or smaller, whatever you want. We can move it. So you get the idea, right? If you want to do the opposite, if you want to use the cube to make a hole in this object, then we need to change the positions. So let's connect this here. And now I'm going to use the cube to delete the same space that they are sharing. Let me connect this so you can see better. So now the cube is deleting this shape. I can make it bigger if you want, so you can see it, how it works. I can change the position. So you get the idea how this works. Perfect. The next option we have is intersect. In intersect, we only have one input. So that means that when we join two objects, we only see the part that they are sharing together. So the part that is cube and a cylinder and they are sharing together, we can see the object. But for example, if they are not sharing together, we don't see any part. Let's move the cube, for example, in the axis. Now we see this part of the cube. But if it's outside, then there is any part not being shared together, so we don't see any mesh. So that means intersect. And finally, we have Union. Union is really easy. Basically, as the name says, it's an union, so we can see both objects at the same time. Now I'm going to show you how to reveal any object that you created in Blender with a cube. So what I want, I don't want this cylinder, and I'm going to use this cube. So let's create an object, for example, a monkey. And let's use 
this cube to reveal this object. So let's bring the object inside. Let's connect it here. Well, actually, I don't need this transform because I can move it myself. And let's select difference. Remember, let's disconnect all this. The most important, the object I want to be visible is this one. So let's connect it in the top. And the object we want to use to cut this object have to be in the mesh too. Okay. Now, why we cannot see the change? Because we have our object visible. So we have to hide it from import and render. Now, where is the cube? To see the cube, let's make it bigger. So let's check it. Here we have our cube. Remember, if you want to see the cube, let's connect it to mesh to curve. So here we can see the cube. Perfect. We have to make it bigger so the object is inside the cube. So let's increase the cube size. Perfect. Now the object, the monkey, is being delayed because the cube is bigger than the object. So what we can do to make a rebuild is just to animate the Z. So if we decrease this, we can make this animation. Actually, in the other direction. By the way, if you see these weird interactions, to solve this, I discovered that if you click here, I don't really know how it works, but if you click here, it solves the problem. So clicking here, or sometimes here, it works. So click whatever you want, and now we don't have this problem. So let's make animation. Let's add zero, so we don't see the object. Let's create a keyframe, insert keyframe, and let's go, for example, something like 50. And now let's up the cube. So something like this. So we see the full object. And now let's create another keyframe. Let's cut this. And let's go to the beginning. So we have this animation. Really easy, just with two objects animating the position of the cube and using mesh boolean. I'm noticing that there is a point here where we can see the empty object. So I think if we click here, it should solve the problem. So to avoid any problem, just click both and in theory it should work perfectly. So this is another way to use mesh boolean to reveal objects. There is a lot of ways to use it. I hope you learned something new and if you like this video, give a like, subscribe and see you in the next video.